Hello everybody and welcome to game number 19 of Pro Tips Necromantic against some lizardmen that hopefully don't have a wizard but we shall see shit they've got a wizard if they want it they've only got 11 players though so hopefully all of their players will get killed with dirty players Oh yeah, should have, or would have, yeah, they're pretty bad. <laughs> that was a fucking Some kind of legend. ritual. A fucking legend! <laughs> yeah, Darren, you do. I'm pretty pro. I was top rated, top, top rated necromantic coach on Fumble. There you go. It was a movement 10 skink, yeah. Yeah, it was a moment ten skink. I got extra team training. Good, he didn't get a wizard. Phew. Thank fuck. Thank fuck for that. He doesn't have. He doesn't have. A wizard. Yeah, I didn't have. Didn't have too much of a look at his team, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, he does have a moment ten skink. But hopefully, just kill his team, and it doesn't matter. So either way, it's okay. If he receives, then there's less chance of him making the one turn. And if he kicks, then hopefully beat up his team so that... Yeah, so he's received. It's not so bad. The ghoul can sit out on, on defense, probably. Get both dirty players in so they can kill skinks. Yeah, movement 10 skink. Um, agility skink with catch is that oh dear block no reserves piling on crocs holy shit three block go here so they're not can strand the saurus maybe and uh, yeah keep, keep the ghoul for the um, offensive drive I think Rerolls. Yeah, he bought an extra one, didn't he, with his inducement money. He already had four rerolls and he got another one. And now he's just got an extra one from the kickoff table. Holy shit, six rerolls. That's fucking crazy. I don't know why he got extra team training when he already had four rerolls. Right, so that implies that he's a bad coach. I should have checked his record first. Oh, double skull. Oh, no. I just couldn't see because, once again, it's under the skills, isn't it? That's really bad that it's under the skills. 713, thank you, Muldripster. I guess he's Lizardman, isn't he? That's why he's, he's seven, he, you know, 713 isn't such a good record. Yeah, four is overkill in the first place, so the fact why would you take a fifth with 100k inducement? You either buy a wizard. Or you get like a bribe or an apple or two babes or something. Um, strange that he would buy a reroll there. That that to me implies that he's not not a great coach. Tbh, bam. If he piles with the crocs, he's getting fouled to fucking death. That's something. <laughs> Yeah, well done, my tiny life. Because they're DLC. Right, obviously don't stand firm here so that he's got to follow up if he wants to pile and get fouled. He doesn't want to get piled. He doesn't want to get fouled. Yeah, he could have got an apple or two, two babes. And the fact that he got nothing is... Um, 
bizarre, isn't it? Pretty shit stun, actually. But I guess he wouldn't have gone there if he hadn't got the stun. Okay, you're going to commit everything to try and knock down this player and this player, and then foul them. Yeah, he had four re-rolls. He induced a re-roll, and then he got one off the kickoff. Yeah, a block crocs not taking guard is absolutely crazy. I agree. It's exposing his skinks as well. Makes me really want to hit them. But gotta put everything into hitting this this lizard man here. Got plenty though, got four rerolls, that's why I went for something a bit crazy. Got no reroll for the 1D though, unfortunately, no. Oh, balls. Got him. Claw all men's. Shit, he's got block. <laughs> fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Wow. Isn't that crazy? God, this is horrible. Well, yeah, I wouldn't have obviously made that move if the Crocs didn't have guard. But, um... Crocs is the best ball carrier in a lizard, man. <laughs> yeah, turn up five players. Yeah. It's pretty... Pretty unfortunate. Yeah, two dirty players drooling to get in. I really wanted to get in. I guess he can reroll every single hit on the werewolves, can't he? Or just doesn't. Ten MA skink and concede farm, maybe. The skinks just aren't very relevant, are they? Although people say hunt skinks, it's not I don't think it's the best strategy. I think the important thing is um is to control the pitch. I do that, I do that when I join other people's streams, so I'm glad. I just say, what's up, motherfuckers? I feel the need. The need. Thank you, Lee Bishop. 2512285. Um, yeah, like, that's the... That's the thing. He's got, um... Got, but even without Claw, obviously with Claw, you want to get Claw on the... On the, um... On the Saurus. But even if you've got like a tackle pommel or whatever, um, it doesn't automatically kill them, does it? Alright, he's just gonna score. Alright, good for him. 
right, easy, easy win, easy life, 2-1 win, probably coming up, um, thank you the Zinner, so yeah, it's just got to be, um, just got to grind it out now, grind out the win, Hope, have hopefully take out his movement, his movement 10 skink, Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Oh, he's still setting up. I thought he'd finished. Thank you, Palak74. Six rerolls. <laughs> New desk <game> off. <laughs> Cheers. Right, what's this? So I'm, I do need to get rid of this guy. Need for speed. It's all good. Right, obviously, strength mends. I feel the need. My God. So, so dark wizard. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Um, right, he can two D him. He can two D him. He can then two D him. Want to foul? Maybe. <laughs> um, this ghoul could run around here and then could 2D him there. And then foul. I feel like I want to carry with a dog just because Blodge Step and Frenzy could be uh, useful against his shithead skins. Rather than carrying with a rookie. The unfortunate thing against Lizardmen is you're always left somewhat open to the Blitz. Because they've got so much strength, don't they? Oh, Pitch Invasion. Alright, that's okay. That's an okay Pitch Invasion. Fuck off, you cocksucker! Oh, I fucked up, Jesus man. fucking Christ! <laughs> the welcome, the welcome sound bites here. Right. Okay, so all the strength four and guard against his strength four and guard. And a mighty blow guy. Could come in there, couldn't he? Two die. Can't three die though. Unless somebody goes in here. Don't want to give up blocks. Don't have to be given up. Don't want a plus two foul. <laughs> um, oh Alright, let's go with this one. <laughs> oh, sweet. Sweet KO there from that. He got fucked by the um, kickoff table there, didn't he? <laughs> Sound effects burn. Tackle on a wolf now would be nice. It'd be okay, but I mean, it's not. wouldn't be necessary. It, strength 4 would be much better to be able to fight Saurus. 3 assist foul on a rookie. Um, no, I'd rather foul the Crocs. Or a Skink, I guess. I guess don't need to reroll this pickup. Good lad. He could swarm us a little bit here, so get them both together. Hmm. 
Yeah, the pitch inversion knocked down one Saurus, but led to a mighty blow hit on his blodge skink, which removed him. So he got screwed a little bit by the uh, by the kickoff result there, as as small as it was. Half man, half machine. Yeah, that's a great song. <laughs> Did you do there? Both down, re-rolled. Of course he's gonna re-roll everything. Oh no, he re-rolled the push into a both down. Outstanding. Concession incoming, no doubt. Oh shit. Punch him in the next one. Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Glorious. Um, can't even get him with block. No, there's no way to get him with block. So it's just have to be a 3D from him. A big foul here on the Crocs. Right. Four assist foul. Good. Dirty player. Stunned. Oh, he's got a thick skull. I was thinking why is why didn't I kill him? But it's thick skull. Yeah, concession farm. <laughs> Yeah, fouling the AV9 thick skull guy is, you're right, it's not the greatest thing in the world. But. You know, he's good, isn't he? He's strength 5 and he's got block. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what a great, what a great position by him. Yeah, maybe I should just foul the skink. I mean, I would, I did want to foul the skink, to be honest. I even said I'd rather foul the skink than a Saurus. But the Crocs, I don't know, it's, he's so good, isn't he, the Crocs? Now the Cro I can leave the Crocs on a... Now I've stunned the Crocs. Can leave the um, <laughs> beautiful position. <laughs> yeah. Now that I've stunned the Crocs, I can leave him on a zombie, can't I? And then, um, and then try to foul the skink. Likes rolling dice, but I mean he's got he's got plenty of assists, assists, rerolls. Hey! Oh God! Wow! I can foul him! Oh my God! He's injured! Concede! He's gonna concede! Surely! Wow! <laughs> That was fucking unbelievable. Um, so obviously this guy can just GFI, can't he, to there. I'd rather get the... Um, he's five, he's four at the moment, can make him six. Ah, oh, yeah, this guy can go on here. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't see this guy. This this guy can mark him. Um, I was going to block him to get him 
to assist this blitz, but GFI is probably worth it. I don't know. It's all a mighty blow block, isn't it? Brilliant positioning, though, by him. Strange guy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that that was a bit shit because I could have just made the GFI to get the assist, couldn't I? I really could have done. Could still foul the Crocs. Maybe next turn. This is Sparta! Maybe next turn foul the Crocs again. But it's brilliant that he, he killed his he killed his movement ten guy. <laughs> that is absolutely outstanding. I guess I don't want to be block by block, do I? So just uh, moving back here, protecting. Oh well. Never mind. Wow. Brutal Muldripster. Oh yeah, he's going straight in for the frustration rerolls, isn't he? Because he's got so many. It's actually done him more harm than good having so many rerolls, because it made him. Medium greed reroll into were both down before, didn't it? Two skinks. What would you like to kill them? <laughs> Is he gonna go for the foul? <laughs> <laughs> Falling to preserve his team, maybe? Or just thinking I'll quit if one of my precious ghouls dies? Well, that's good. That's a sidestep, isn't it? It's obviously a bit of a waste of, uh, of claw here, isn't it? But gotta hit him. Gotta hit a skink. For free. If he's gonna give me them for free, I'll hit them. to get another guy on here. She's pretty annoying. Knock him over. Yeah. Foul with one assist. Just I've still got the guy, so it doesn't even matter if this fails, does it? The only thing is if he gets sent off, it frees up a Saurus, so I guess can't foul this turn. But got to get two fouls in in the next two turns. Pretty important to get these fouls in. Um, yeah, really got to start fouling. This was bad to not foul this turn. Absolutely have to get a foul in. I love that he's going for these greed rerolls. Terrible. Ah. 
Yeah, a bit of waste of the guard here, isn't it? And the strength. I would rather he was in with this. In the middle of all this. Be able to strand him next turn, hopefully. On a zombie. You've got to take your phone serious. Shit. Got to foul next turn. Just have to. I'd like to surface sidestep her. That would be cool, but the zombies are just too slow to make it happen. Hey! 3D and a skink. Foul this one. Where is he? One, two. He can reach. He can reach the sidestepper. So it's just um, clearing, clearing the path to get the foul in. Clear the route to the sidestepper. assist unfortunately but worked got everyone down got the assist from the ball carrier <laughs> and get the foul the sidestepper oh yeah got to take your foul serious yes die insert Good. Serious foul, worth it. Pretty nice. Yeah, this was only bad getting the only bad thing was getting the flesh golem hit rather than the um the mum, uh zombie. He's gonna get piled as well, isn't he? May need to look into getting some tackle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got a KO. So fouling since nineteen eighty two. Pretty much. Alright, turn seven so I can just block him. Misclicked. Should have called for the serve. I'll just um, I'll try to hit a hit a Saurus. He can three D him, but I'm pushing him the wrong square, so now it's a GFI to three D him, and a GFI to foul as well. Um, okay, I'm just going to hit with Claw, because Clawing Saurus is better than Mighty Blowing Saurus, isn't it? Protect the ball a little bit as well. Yeah, okay, just go back and protect the ball a little bit. I think. GFI, we've got, got two rerolls, so a GFI to Blitz isn't the worst thing in the world, is it? Got him. Oh, I love fouling. 
So right now, one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, GFI and foul him. Um, I guess the ball's pretty safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. So I need to make this GFI to protect the ball. And stand him up. And get the crocs. Come on, kill him. Nah, shit. Yeah, it's true, he's on defence in the second half, so we ain't getting the ball anyway, yeah. Rip all skins. He, can, he could free up the Saurus here, couldn't he, and Blitz, and. Ain't gonna matter at all. Oh, yeah, I could try and win. Could try and win by more, but I'm not. I'm just gonna win two one. To be honest, spawn of spawn of Cthulhu. Um, I am not. I guess. I guess if I kill his, if I kill his skin. Um. Oh shit! He got the pal. No, oh, please don't hurt me. He's gonna pile, isn't he? He's gonna pile. With <laughs> get full value from his Crocs pylon. The Crocs pylon is a pretty amazing animation, to be fair. Pretty amazing animation. Yeah, get a call them TD. Um, something you could do. Yeah. Call them TD would be okay. Put them up on the 15. <laughs> Got no balls. <laughs> no balls <here. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to risk it. The win. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's pretty. It's pretty exciting. Uh, 2D with mighty blows. Looks good. His team is wrecked. <laughs> Beautiful. Pro tip wreck, your, wreck the opposing team. This is good, good advice. I don't want a 2D without block though, so... Um, if I was one, if it was nil-nil, maybe so I'd make that, but... Quick score before he concedes. <laughs> yeah, he, do, he does have one skink left, it's, uh, it's KO'd though. So, um... So, still got two reserves, even after all those fouls, and he has five players on the pitch. So I guess I want to score two touchdowns on the ghoul, don't I, to get him blodged up, is the most important thing. I guess I could try two touchdowns on a flesh goal to get him guard. Um, right, put him there. Now the uh, wolves can tee off, actually, can't they? The wolves can tee off now that there's um, there's less to worry about. Something like this. I feel the need. The need. Thank you, Priest 333. Three. What do I think about that? Dark Elves. Um, I don't like that. Friendly Richard. Um, no, I like. I like three Blitzers, one Witch Elf. Haven't I fucked this up? <sighs> Cry.
Mikey. Oh my god, Kale. <laughs> um, right, it needs three turns, including one GFI, doesn't it? So, just get him forward for Just because I want to score with a flesh golem for a laugh. This is pretty annoying. <laughs> this fucking Croxagor. Wow, well, okay. Um so one D one D bit one D blitz the Crocs into a big foul. Would be funny. Shit, one, two, three, four, five, six, GF noise. We're safe. Right, GFI in a one day blitz. Let's go. This is not pro tips. But it's funny tips when your opponent has no players left and have no chance, isn't it? A nice relaxing fun game. I should I should check chat. I haven't hardly looked at chat to be honest. Yeah, give this coach credit for sticking around, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, two assassins is Terrible. Pass didn't just activate on an inaccurate pass. Bizarre. What's more important? Two touchdowns and a flash golem. With two rerolls, or just I've just got to score the goal. I just have to score the goal. Unfortunately, as much as it's funny scoring the flesh goal, and have to score the goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI next turn. Nah, it's gone turn twelve. Turn twelve is good enough. This is terrible if I make the blitz with him, isn't it? He's got to block him first. Right, so he's going to go to there. So I have to go here. And now. And even then I could blitz him down. But I just really want to hurt his crocs ago. Pretty, um, I don't think I can go for the 3-1 win. I don't think I can. Let's make a screen here. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, this game has a massively steep learning curve. I think the steepest of any PC game um, because it's not really a PC game it's a board game and uh, it's really hard really hard any easy stops for a noob um, I would say I would say Orcs are a good starting team <laughs> yeah, Arrested Development. <laughs> the old, the old uh, studman advice. Can't actually go that way. I guess I've done this terribly because I could have chained him up to make it better, but.
Yeah, I'm not going to score the fresh golems. Obviously not going to make a GFI now with one reroll. I guess I'm not going to score either. Because if his skink comes back and he gets bullshit, it's going to be sad times, isn't it? 3-1 and no balls. I've got no balls. If I killed his crocs, maybe. Maybe we could talk if I killed his crocs. Stomp the men's, yeah, stomp the men's. Yeah, very hard. Yeah, I bet it would be really hard if you just bought it. Um, yeah, if you just bought it for PC or PS4, it's going to be hard. If, if you come from the board game, it's not so hard. But, um... <laughs> got no balls. <laughs> got no balls. So he's lying down. I mean, if... It... Alright, I'll score. Fuck it, I've only got one reroll. But just to... Just to appease the crowd. Plus, I mean, I do want to skill the ghoul, don't I, so... If it, hopefully a skink doesn't come back. And it's alright. I would say not the skill ceiling. I would say... I wouldn't say the skill ceiling meaning how good you can be with Blood Bowl, but certainly how hard it is for noobs. I think it's the worst. I think Blood Bowl's the worst for that. For the learning curve, not skill ceiling. Skill ceiling is different to learning curve, isn't it? I think the learning curve for Blood Bowl is the hardest. Um, yeah. So I guess Ghoul's got to be on the pitch to score a touchdown. Oh, you need to see the touchdown. That was in the first game, actually, Muppet Pac-Man. You can check it out on YouTube. And, um... Yeah. Necro's good for a new player. Um, I don't know. Probably he's, probably he's not. They're a bit tricky, I would say. I would say Necro's a bit tricky because they don't have a lot of strength. And, um... You know, they've got claw on the werewolves, but they get they're tricky with a the frenzy. They don't have a lot of rerolls. The linemen are terrible. Um Yeah, I would say they're probably not a good shout for a noob, no. I'd probably go stick to orcs or like wood elves or something. Yeah, PC's much better supported than PS4. Yeah, undead. Undead's a lot better for noobs. Yeah, exactly because the undead, the undead is a much better choice for noobs because you've got the ghouls. You know the ghouls are little like pansies with a armor seven and dodge. That and to be fair, as a rookie, they're arguably better than a werewolf anyway and cost a lot less. And the flesh golems are decent once they develop, but they're not strength five mighty blow. So yeah, undead much better shout for a newbie. Yeah, Dark Elves or Wood Elves or whatever. It's all pretty good. He's taking a while, isn't he? Do you think he's just trolling because he's lost? Yeah. Yeah, good point. Good point. Arrested development. Yeah, I mean, mummies are just amazing. That's the thing. Like, as a rookie team, Undead are so much better. It's just that with the, when they're developed, and obviously if you double on your werewolves, then Undead, un, Necro got a better ceiling, basically. Got a lower start. And no need to use Apo as well. Yeah, that's good. I like not having to make the Apo decisions. So, so that's good. I I hate Norse. So that was it. I um I absolutely hate hate Norse. Um, because they're just, they're just dice, you know, they're just dice, dice orientated, 
and um, I don't like it. This Crocs is getting fouled again. Well, the, the region isn't free, um, but you know, team-wide regen is better than an apple a lot of the time. But only if you take like X amount of casualties. Um, what are the harder teams to play? Good question. Um, I would say ones with frenzy in. I guess as a rule, are going to be harder than teams without frenzy because it's a little bit more to think about, isn't it? And the teams with like less agility because there's things that can go wrong more. I'm just gonna kill it, kill his crocs here. Shit. <laughs> greed reroll, greed reroll on the crocs. Let's go. Oh my god. Invincible Crocs. Found him. This is pretty bad, obviously, leaving the ball exposed. He could go for a pickup and stuff, but I don't think he will. Got one reroll for the pickup, which the girl's in range of next turn. I guess he's just going to hit the girl. Maybe it would have been better to have based the uh, based this Saurus. Probably just going to blitz the yeah, Maybe Probably just based that. Well, this is a little bit hard. Yeah, that's true. The Blood Bowl too. There are harder teams to play. Than the ones that are in Blood Bowl 2. Yeah, he's just too. Oh no, okay, he's gonna foul. Good. Lizards are. Lizards are disgusting. Um, basically. Like, they're not ridiculously overpowered or anything, but. I just. They're just a disgusting team. But they are very powerful. It's like how they're powerful as well. Right. Let me kill this guy. Getting too deep though by a lizard man isn't so clever. Obviously, reroll this pickup in an effort to get the three-one and the skill on the ghoul. I just really want it. I really want him to have the ball. Good. Yeah, rest. Of, yeah, listen, men. Are a little bit tricky because they're weird, aren't they? They're a weird team. So they're a little bit tricky, um, but you know they've got a team of like six or seven strength four and five. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. The wall of strength is hard for people to deal with, no matter how good they are. It's just hard to deal with lizard men, and if their armor holds up, obviously at higher team values, they're not so good because they get hit by claw and their armor tends not to hold up. But um, at low TV, when people don't have Mighty Blow and Claw to get rid of them, it's brutal. Yeah, gutter runners are incredibly powerful. This block... This block has been amazing for him. It saved him from getting knocked down a few times. Got him knocked down a few times. Wow. 
Wow, that's pretty brutal arrested development. Right. Let's try to get some blocks in somehow. Well, this is okay because can chain him in here. Can chain this werewolf in to make a block on him. Oh no, can't because then he hasn't got the assist. I should have moved him there first. Fuck. Oh, I've done it wrong now. Anyway, this is going to be a one D. Oh god, what an absolute fuck up. Oh no, I'm terrible. I'm terrible, blue ball. Shit. I'm terrible. Sick of blue ball. That was horrible, innit? All these players up and just get both werewolves knocked over. <laughs> Fuck it now. Pretty bad. He's obviously going to pile on as well. With a plus one. No, he didn't pile on. That was awful. Awful, awful stuff. Shouldn't have hit him in first. Jimmy Fantastic, meet Jimmy Terrible. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to pay attention to the game, though, isn't it, when you've slaughtered somebody this badly. Just dice decided this, didn't they? Really? I mean, I don't think he played well scoring in two turns um, for no reason. When your opponent scores in two turns for no reason, you know you're probably going to win, don't you? Um, oh, I let him foul. Shit, if I'd stood firm... He wouldn't have fouled this guy. Oh no. Phew. Yeah, it is really easy to get. I mean, I'm not even paying attention to the game. All the chat, I'm just thinking. Wasn't this fun? <laughs> Slan and Lizardmen teams could be merged. That would be weird, wouldn't it? Could be interesting, though. Obviously, not going to try anything without a reroll. Need to get that. Um, need to get that thing. He's got a skink. But even then, if, if somebody scores in two turns by choice, I think I'm going to win. Whether they've got elves or skaven. Like, obviously, with skaven, they've got elves and skaven, they've got a bit more of a chance of winning still. But really. If somebody does that on purpose, if somebody just scores on purpose on turn two, I think I've got an easy win. Tree man, a tree man kickoff goal, flesh goal and tree, flesh goal and kickoff. Haven't seen that before until now. Yep, that's what that's Grindle's correct. Anyone can do two turn scores and defend, but I just think it's a bad, bad strategy. I think, Sir Amal. I think if some, I always think if somebody scores a two turn against me, I think I'm not going to win it because why have they done that? Like. I just think it's I just think it's bad. I think it's objectively bad to score in two turns. If you're unpressured, it to just choose to score in two turns, I think is bad. I mean it depends obviously. I guess if you're playing like a new a new player and you know they're new and it's in a league and you think you're gonna play you're gonna win eight nil then you can score in two. Like I, I beat a guy in Fumble eight nil. And um you know, I kind of, I knew it was new, I knew it was new, so I scored in two. Ah, yeah, to remove a death roller, yeah, okay, to remove a death roller. Ah, see, I don't, I don't agree, Sarah Mullin, this is why I don't, this is the sort of thing where you've got a point, but... And it's a good point. 
But new players need to not get fucked in the ass. That's the thing. And it's like, that's why I would only ever recommend orcs or orcs or elves. Because I just think, you know, new players just getting pounded and just losing. It's okay if you want to get good and you won't give up. But new players are likely to give up if they're just getting fucked all the time. Yeah, I knew there was a bug that allowed Phalana for fouling, yeah. Um, I, didn't, I didn't even abuse it, can you believe that? I know it's I know it's shocking news, but I knew about it and did not do it. So he nearly got as many armor breaks, which is which is crazy, isn't it? Considering how much he got slaughtered, out blocked by loads, and I guess normally I'd give the block to the ghoul and have them as a ball carrier, but wrestle would be okay. I'm going to still going to take block. I'd like the second ghoul to have wrestle and be a safety. So, um, yeah, it's okay. Plenty of money in the bank. Full team, 13 players. Looks all right, doesn't it? 14, 2, 3 now. I, I am sad about the record. One loss could have definitely been a draw. Um, one draw probably could have been a win if I if I hadn't been so tired and played so bad. One draw, I was almost could have won it if I'd been lucky. And two, two of the losses, I think, were dicings that I couldn't have done too much about. Um... So not not the worst record anyway. Hopefully, hopefully the Pro Tip series will end up with better records. But there's still one game to go in anyway, isn't there? I've just done this at the wrong time. There's 19, one more game. So um, thank you for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.